The purpose of this video is to introduce the book Decolonizing Health, Healing and Care, Embodying Culturally Responsive and Socially Just Counseling, edited by Sandra Collins and Melissa J. The videos that you'll find on this playlist are interconnected with that book. Tanse Kiowao Nia Dr. Melissa J. Chuap Chippy and Kudibai. Hello, I hope you're well, and I am coming to you from Canmore here in the beautiful Rocky Mountains. I'm Dr. Melissa J. I use she, her pronouns. I'm a Neheo member of the Métis Nation of Alberta, and I work in many colonial environments, including as an assistant professor at Athabasca University and am a registered psychologist in the province of Alberta. I introduce myself in this way because I know that while well, I, I hold some marginalized positions or identities, I also hold great privilege. And I'm so grateful that we get to come together in this way. And yeah, from, from my heart, I'm so grateful to invite you to get to know Sandra. I'm Sandra Collins. I use she, her pronouns, and I feel very privileged also to be here. I recognize that as an academic and a professor um, for many years now, I come from also a place of privilege. And I have been really lucky over the years to have surrounded myself um, with people like Melissa, uh, with whom I can build these alliances to create spaces for voices that tend to be marginalized in society. So one of the reasons that I um, feel drawn to this work is my recognition of myself within the colonial relationship as a um, back to the 16th century history of colonial um, settler status from my heritage um, dating back to the UK. And uh, that makes me very aware of the long lineage of involvement in colonial practices. And as Melissa said, reenacted within um, so many of the places that we spend our time and energy and education. I am pleased to be here with Melissa and turning the tables on some of the ways in which um, counseling and psychology have themselves been colonial practices in the past. And we're really excited because Sandra and I have been in dialogue, we've been connecting every week in what we're we're calling our sacred circle of squares here, and and we're ready to broaden our circle. So we invite you, as someone who's watching this video, to join our circle. And our intention really is to imagine that that you join us in this heart-based offering. And so you might imagine that this invitation, we're already sitting in a circle together where no one's above and no one's below. Instead, we're all at the same level and our hearts are at the same level. Some of you will already have a connection with either Melissa or I or both of us. Um, and we are starting our conversation from the ebook that I released in 2018 on culturally responsive and socially just counseling. And one of the things that we're doing is asking ourselves and inviting you into this conversation around what would it look like if we were to actually flip the lens away from a Eurocentric perspective on counseling and begin from an Indigenous perspective and foreground decolonization and indigenization. Yeah, and I'm so grateful for this invitation of collaboration, Sandra. What we have intentionally done is looked at the 94 calls to action and identified the ones that we can most tangibly respond to with this resource. And something that's gonna be really different about this resource is that part of the process of decolonizing and practicing anti-oppressive care is overtly foregrounding BIPOC and other often marginalized voices. We want to invite learners into a process of unlearning, which is really hard, and also learning to prioritize Indigenous ways of knowing, doing, and being. So we're drawing on the framework from Dr. Albert Marshall, who is a Mi'kma'ki elder and knowledge keeper, and his framework is Edwept Monk, Two-Eyed Seeing, 
And we really want to draw on this to provide opportunities for learners to develop the skills, the skill of learning to look through the lens of Indigenous ways of knowing, doing and being with the, the mainstream lens as well. The other key framework that we're going to draw on is the theory of intersectionality. Recognizing that it's in the intersections of people's identity that the complexity comes. The intersections of our various identities affect who we are as people, but also how we are positioned within the world and our social location. And the other piece that's often missing, I think, from conversations about intersectionality is the convergence of allyship and resistance and other ways of enacting social justice that come about from those multiple intersections. So our focus is on highlighting voices, particularly those of intersecting identities based on gender, indigeneity, ethnicity, gender identity, sexuality, age, social class, ability, religion, and spirituality. So from my heart and from Sandra's heart, we're so grateful for you and thank you so much.